your cheerful host, Asia. Welcome to Moby Dick. Today, I'm going to introduce to you something that is going to be useful for those of you who have trouble parking your car. This convenient technology is SVM. SVM is an acronym for Surround View Monitoring. It is a parking assistance system that renders the view around your car in real time into 360 degrees top-down footage. There are four cameras used for SVM, each attached to the front, rear, left, and right sides of the car. Each camera captures the view of its side and sends it to SVM. Then, SVM adds each view up into one single picture. But it begs the question. If there are four cameras recording at four different spots and combine them into a single picture, there has to be a distortion. Then. How can SVM possibly render them into such a seamless picture? It is a bit tricky to describe how the SVM view is formed, but there are two key methods at work. And believe me, it's really tricky. The first method is adjusting the distortion via camera modeling, and then calculating the homography using the feature points of the cameras. What is homography then? It is a 2D conversion technology that maps a given rectangle into another rectangle. Yes, I know it might not make any sense at all. Let's think of it this way. Let's say there is a sheet of paper on the table. When you look at it directly from above, you see a right rectangle. But when you look at it laterally at a certain angle, the further side of the rectangle seems shorter than the opposite side. In other words, when seen from the side, you get a distorted view of the rectangle by corresponding the vertices of the distorted rectangle to the vertices of the right rectangle you can get the vertices of the distorted rectangle regardless of the angle of perspective this is what homography is and using homography allows the svm to convert the footage from the four cameras into top view footage or any other perspective you like the next one is easier i promise the second method is applying the alpha blending technique and altering the brightness of each footage. So, we get the original footage from the four cameras, right? The footages go through a conversion procedure where they become suitable for SVM view. And that converted picture is then applied with alpha blending and brightness control for a better picture. Alpha blending, by the way, is the technique that mixes footage from two areas to form a continuous picture. Brightness control is, well, literally matching the brightness of the footage. Mobis must have great video professionals to make it happen. There are many signals that SVM uses to communicate with other items when it's functioning. Every control unit in a car shares a set of rules that tells each component what to do in a certain situation. For example, it would bother you when the SVM view shows up when you are driving on a freeway. So, if the velocity of the car goes over 15 km per hour at a stop, the SVM view is replaced with the head unit screen. Also, you can see the view from the left side camera when you turn the left blinker on. And do you remember the episode of the digital cluster? There is a function called BVM. It's the blind spot view monitor. When someone approaches nearby the car and is in a blind spot so that drivers can't notice, SVM turns on to show and alert the driver. Also, when PAS is activated when parking, there will be a warning on the SVM screen that alerts drivers something is too close, allowing the drivers to indicate a potential threat to the car beforehand. Oh, by the way, PAS stands for Parking Assistance System. Stereo camera, black box, AVN, real mirror monitor are all additional features of SVM that uses the camera. Wow, hey. there are so many, right? Then what makes Movis SVM so special? Most remarkably, it's because it's made up of 100% Movis' original tech. Not just the hardware, but the software inside it too. Movis SVM can render various views, including top view, using homography technique and has a competitive edge compared to other companies with its excellent product quality. Moreover, Movis SVM can also provide 3D footage as well as basic 2D graphics. These are some of the many reasons why SVM is so special. What more can I say? Movis rules. In the past, 
SVM did nothing more than simply compile passive footage into one video and view it. Now, there is an integrated parking controller system with more active functions. This is called ATIS Parking. It is an integrated parking controller system that not only includes SVM, but PCAR, PDW, and RSBA functions. Fancy words, right? Look here to check what it means. So, let me wrap up. SVM can have infinite possibility to expand to provide so much more convenience to drivers. But don't let these technologies distract you from driving safe. That is all for today. I hope you learned a lot from this episode. I will get you more interesting auto tech stories in the next episode. Please support Mobidick by commenting and clicking the subscribe button, as well as turning the notification on. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe. Woo.